want to rewind you back a little bit to mm-hmm. pre monastery days how old were you when this all this happened like when it began 21 okay wow i just worked with hp for like what 8 months okay and you realize that hold on there's something bigger called me you go to the monastery and you realize okay this is it at least this is the beginning of it this is yeah exploring it okay see i i have been a non conformist mm. you know you cannot do anything substantial if you're a conformist mm. the greatest killer of your personal spiritual professional growth is conformism mm. Confor- can, yeah yeah can you make that simpler for hey, the listeners yeah 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 the the greatest killer of our growth is to give in to what society thinks you should be doing mm. there are social standards of what you should be doing socially it's cool to have a job or a business and start it this way and have a home in a certain place have a certain car wear a certain kind of clothes have a certain kind of hairstyle and we give in to it mm. because we want to be socially accepted mm. uh, there is also the other side of the story which is pressure from family parents where there is conformism and giving in there because what will my parents think mere parents ne mere liye itna kiya hai bachpan se mujhe kiya hai mere papa ka sapna tha main engineer banu mere mummy ka sapna hai main doctor banu are unka sapna hai wo aur wo aapki zindagi nahi jeene wale look i am not saying we shouldn't fulfill our parents dreams they are the most amazing people they gave birth to us they grew us up they did so much for us and we have that that it's i hate to use the word duty but i will still use it duty out of our genuine love and gratitude mm. to serve them and their emotional support their love will always be there for us but trust me uh, even if you assume that we have to spend like about 8 hours at work daily it's a very conservative number actually mm. to spend way more than that mm. but even if you have to spend like 8 hours at work daily and you're working 5 days a week it's 40 hours at work a week mm. and assuming you take 2 weeks of holiday every year that's 50 weeks working that makes 2000 hours of yours at work assuming you work for about 45 years that's 90000 hours of your life at work now that's a daunting number mm. right it the average is about 10 years of your life mm. i'm really not sure if i just conform and give in to what socially acceptable or what my family wants 90000 hours of dissatisfaction 90000 hours of cribbing and complaining that i hate it i don't like it this is not what i wanted to do or what to do this is what trends this is what pays this is what my parents wanted conformism conformism will take away one two things from me a my satisfaction 90000 hours just because it's paying me more should i be miserable for those nights ka rota baitho ke main 90 ghante har ghante yaar mere mein maza nahi aa raha hai kya karu yaar karna pad raha hai ye politics chal raha hai ye pressure chal raha hai abhi kya kare stress hai karna pad raha hai 90000 ghante and the second thing is you can never achieve excellence excellence only comes when you do something that truly resonates with your soul you know so for me i said no man hp yes i'm okay i'm good at doing it i was good very decently good at my work but it's not fulfilling me mm. you know and i i don't suggest people take a risk like me definitely don't i usually tell people that you have a mainstream something through which you earn and then follow your passion side by side so that there's no risks in what calculated risk and then when this takes over and grows then chuck this out mm. and make this as your main thing well my my system didn't allow me to do that can take that calculated risk i just took the plunge mm. and jumped in and said no i'm not going to do this if it doesn't really kind of resonate with my soul you know so i've been a non conformist mam <laughs> mam samaj aisa bolta hai and, and of course my family was a little hurt with it obviously they would right but uh, now that they see what it has come out to be 